Hi guys, welcome to Tech Geek. So for the batch of 2023, we are back with a blockbuster job approach. So here's what we have. So Salesforce, uh, you must be aware of what Salesforce is. If not, by a checker, do you realize how big this company is? So Salesforce is hiring the batch of 2023. So all the BE BTech graduates, that's for you, and mostly the technical aspects one so they are hiring for associate member of technical staff now talking about associate member of technical staff if you ask in some companies mein, uh, apart from SD they do hire for the same thing and it's not that you won't be working on technical you will be having the technical staff okay so it's somewhere based out of development too now talking about how when where and there must be many questions regarding this so let's look into this so before that a simple request to you all in the description i have placed the apply link as well as the linkedin link for the pro uh, you can say for the opening so i request you all to please like and follow my linkedin channel too so that i can share more details there because it's not possible to make up a video very soon for each and every job opening but yeah sharing it on linkedin too would be quite easy with the links so that would be beneficial for you as well as your friends so please suggest them and for the batch of 2023 if you are not from the same batch your friends your colleagues your juniors anyone is there please share it with them because uh, sharing is obviously caring if you see if your friend gets a good job then obviously they can refer you for a very good position in their own company too that's what that matters so as the placement session has begun we have another blockbuster here let's see what this job demands for so the job category is products and technology it's only for the batch of 2023 please mark that and this is a full-time opportunity as a software engineer okay so now all the things are getting clear that MT is basically a software engineer they are demanding for. Location will be Hyderabad and Bangalore. So the location staff is basically Hyderabad and Bangalore. And to the batch of 2023, again I'm marking it out. All those who are from this batch do apply it. Don't consider yourself to be a rejected person initially. Giving it a try is a very big thing. You will actually get a test link and that's up to you how you perform. Okay. Now let's see eligibility criteria for the seat so as per said all the graduates of 2023 batch from the technical aspect so all computer science electrical electronics or equivalent disciples with a specialization in computer science so if you talk about all disciples like it would also be included ai could be included so these are the things that will be included for this particular graduation now talking about your academics so academics a uh, premium company whenever they come they always ask one thing that's a basic set of cgpa mostly seven and seven plus secondly a no back so please make sure no backlogs you have if you're applying that's a major thing you have to keep in mind now talking about your technical skills so a person who would have academic or professional internship experience with java c plus plus and python that's good to have because Java, C++ and Python are basically these three are the ones we work on. And if you're having an internship experience, then obviously you are somewhere on the top of others. Understanding of OOPs, so that's object oriented programming, object oriented designs, building up of any particular system, or if you have a project related to it, then obviously there's a big plus to your profile. Working knowledge of web technologies like Node, Mon, or even you can say HTML, CSS. There are many things for this. Okay. Now talking about strong analytical and problem solving skills. So if talking about a person who's coming to a product based company, talking about your DP or uh, analytical skills or your problem solving skills. So that's what they require more. The person should be a self-starter and possess a strong sense of self-motivation. So that's somewhere uh, you can say basic need for every good company. Then desired skill sets like if you have a knowledge of relational database, SQL, then uh, strong competency in Java, JavaScript related frameworks as per se. And then obviously DS, that data structures, algorithms, 
Oops, concept. So, I guess this is something if you actually know you were preparing for a job, these are the things you mostly focus on. If not, then still you can take a break, work for your three to four months with these skills, and then obviously in a mid or in the next that's the next six months of your you can say placements because placements happen in sets for the first and the second half. So second half you have great opportunities. Don't lack out if you feel that still you need to work on it. Work on it, okay? Because for your batch now the time is up. Okay, time is up, but that doesn't mean you cannot. Time is up in the way that for the coming session, okay, for the coming series that are coming up. But if you give a break, actually work hard in three to four months. Work hard is actually you need to engross yourself every possible way. In that case, you can land over a very good opportunity. And to the batch of 2024, if you are watching this, then prepare yourself for the coming placements in the next year. You have an year. Go to the roadmap. Decide how you have to work. Work on your PSS skills, and then work on some major good projects because projects play an important role. Find good internships. That's also a big thing because internships are good. Now I'm talking about yeah, internships are not easy to get. That's what I have heard of many people that uh, internships are not easy. But there are many companies who will hire you for internships. I basically have done internships from my second year, so that's what I find. And being from a Tier Three college, I'm not from IIT or NIT. I'm from a Tier Three college, so I know it's not easy. But yeah, if you try, if you have skills, if you have good projects, and if you are ready to work hard, then obviously they will hire you. so let's see what uh, more i would like to tell you all now talking about the recruitment as we were talking so this company has five set of rounds the very first is a coding round so coding round as said it happens on hackerang okay so this hackerang 16 minutes test consists of various questions that are you can say a little above medium as a company sets a great uh, you can say aspects or Marking point for problem solving, so it has a little high approach available. Once you cross this, then you have two technical rounds, technical one and technical two. Technical one is you can say easy to medium, and technical two is medium to difficult. So, and then talking about what is mostly asked, so the mostly asked things are DP, 3D, manipulation, stats, and tools. Okay, and in TR two, yeah, it goes up to trees and graphs too. Okay, that's now depending on how your interview is, who your interview is, and it's basically on them. But yeah, you should have these things clear. The HR round, the HR round talks about how you are basic questions regarding your resume, your internship experience, your projects. That's what the HR round goes to. That's so basically HR and management. Then we have a special round in this company that says anchor round. Okay, now what does this round refer to? So as we know in Amazon we have a behavioral questions, right? The same way we have it here. We have the directories. Okay, the board of directors sitting there. They would be talking to you. Now not obviously the board of directors always because uh, they are not so free to take up all the interviews. But yeah, high rank post officials of that company would be there. they would be talking to you about yourself your behavioral skills you would be asked various questions according to a condition how would you respond to it if something happens or what would be your first choice uh, like work style assessment you could say but that would be an open one okay so that's how you have to answer that okay so this is one of the most amazing rounds if you know or if you are really a good fit so you can even call it a fitment round here So that's what this round says. Now talking about such a great company, it's paying. So, so what would be the pay scale? So pay scale, the lowest pay scale it offers is five. So you can say the lowest that so minimum is this, and higher it could go till thirty three LPA. Okay, so you know how much you have to work for it. So work. Hard and yeah, talking about applying now. We have a link. 
will be sharing it in the description box i will be sharing my linkedin page too and even my telegram page so would request you all to please follow the linkedin telegram because that's the place where i'm mostly active i'll be posting more and more or uh, linkedin is something i began today itself so it would take time to optimize it because i'm thinking to post all the opening that i come across there because it's easy just to post it there and then to work on it and then make a video because making a video takes some time but like sharing those details and openings to you would be easier so that i could not miss out any opportunities for you people so as to request be share it with your friends your colleagues who are from the batch of 2023 if in case for this particular opening you have any queries anything regarding your resume you want me to check your resume if it's a good one or not or anything you want any particular you can say improvements i would be ready to help you out and yeah this helping is actually free of course i won't be charging anything because i literally don't want to i'm just a person who'd be helping it out because i am a person who have faced these issues like being from from particular background where there's no one from it and then struggling it hard and getting into a company it's like a big thing so i don't want any one of you to be in that condition you can easily approach me i'll be there to help you out okay uh simple request thank you keep following thank you